I got here. I think we good now. You there, okay. T-Max? I'm here. Can you hear me? All right. I'm going to see what I can do here. Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. know what the hell happened with that, man. I'm going to try to bring Sandman <laughs> on. Okay. This shit fucked up my vibe, but I'm going to try to get um, everything back in order. My apologies to everybody. It was just a little technical difficulty that we had. We had a, we had a little issue. But it's going to take more than that. I had to pretty much erase a little bit of what we did on the last show so I could start this one. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm going to try to bring on, I'm going to see what's going on here. Okay, we we move, we getting everything steady moving. Let's see what's going on here. Blog Talk right. Radio. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio. Please hold and you'll be Okay. 818 you on. I'm going to try to I'm 818 you on? Yo yo, what's happening? What's going on? What's going what's on? What's good, man? What's up? This is Darnay. Yeah, we had a little, we had a little difficulty right here, man. But we, we back in, man. Who's this speaking? Man, this is Dyer Lansky. What's Dyer. good, brother? Look, man, just want to correct, man. congratulate so, y'all on the uh, three, three, three hundred episodes. You know what I mean? That's a hell of an achievement. Congrats, salute. Y'all always putting in the work, man. That's what's up. Man, yeah, you can bring dire. us some, I mean, bring us some clarity because we had a, like a almost a disastrous situation with the show. I think we probably had an overabundance of calls, but happy to have you yeah. on, man. Yeah, you know uh, I had to I had to chime in real quick and uh you know do we do yeah I called a few minutes ago it was like da 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 it was so stupid. yeah <laughs> <laughs> look 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 man look it's great to hear you man look i seen you on ig the other day spitting your shit man look you still got the rhymes like look man you still got the vault of, of genius man what you been up to with your music lately man man just trying to really drop a lot you know technology is such a beautiful thing you know that you know th- these these artists nowadays they have no excuse not to drop a lot of music you know and the way i think about it since we since we're not really moving units anymore, you know, people are buying CDs, they're paying for subscriptions or streams. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather make money on 200 songs than 12. Uh, right. You know what I mean? Considering motherfucker, you make 0.7 cents a stream or whatever it might be, depending on the the outlet. So, you know, I just try to drop music, man. Be consistent. Um, like anything else, you know, I'm learning every day. No matter how how long I've done music, I learn shit every day, and Learn about myself every day. Learn about the craft every day. Just, just keep it rolling. So you know, just uh, I just released um an album called Chain Reaction with with my dude, um, E the Mad Assassin, and okay, um, I got a I got a little project I'm working on with Tragedy Gaddafi, and oh shit, QB, and, and, and yeah, and and uh, just you know, just some other things. So uh, you know, just trying to stay busy and consistent. Man, look. You know, I'll tell you one thing, man, Daya. It's one of those things that even with this current situation we got going on, to see people like yourself and so many others who are using this time to be constructive and creating classics is inspiring, man. You know, and it shows people, you know, even though there's downtime, you ain't got to stay down doing nothing. You know, you always stay up, you know, moving upward. Um, And it's great to see you, you know, you're still in the lab, you know, with the crew, you know, and y'all still doing what y'all do with it. Yeah, you know, um, I, you know, I, I was telling somebody the other day, even with this, you know, and I'm 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 saddened by all the people that's really been affected by this coronavirus. Um, but you know, as far as like what we do, it really didn't change anything with us. We don't go to clubs, we don't go out. You know, we go to like Laker games and shit, so that changed. But I mean, I go home and go right. to the studio, and mm-hmm. that's what I'm going to continue to do. But I have seen, you know what? I'll tell you what, we we've learned a lot about ourselves through this time. Um, I really got to say because. That's true. You know, I and I even see growth from people on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that because this world moves so fast, and I think we get so caught up in everything and and just moving, always moving, moving, moving. Even when we're sitting down, we moving down the timeline, seeing what everybody else is up to. I think this was a great opportunity for people to really be like, "Wow, 
you know, this is what my life's like. And, and you, you could really kind of sit back and be like, okay, you know, I, I think I know what I need to do. Or I think I know what I'm not doing and, and stuff like that. So, you know, we got to kind of take it, take it as a, you know, a little blessing in disguise, if you will. Yeah, you know, and I read a, um, there was a guy who uh, actually posted an incredible essay. I posted it on my page the other day, and basically he called what we're going through right now the Great Pause, you know, and it's something that, uh, you know, we're just looking at this from a perspective of just trying to, you know, it's definitely something right now where hey, I got we are. Hey, I got Pat on right quick. Okay, Pat. You know, get some clarity Pat, Pat. on what just happened. That thing sounded like a machine gun or something. You good? Yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy, yo. But yo, yo, hey, I, something came up, man. I gotta get rolling. But uh, okay, all right. Yo, again, I just wanted to congratulate you guys, man. Thank you for always letting me do my thing on here, man. And you know I'll continue to do it, man. But uh, for real, congratulations, man. You guys know I already know how dope I think you guys are, man. I do appreciate you guys. But uh, sorry, I gotta roll. But uh, yo, congratulations again, man. And you know I'm always fucking with you till the end, bro. Appreciate you, Pat, man. Look, it's all love over here. Thank you. Thank you again for everything you've done and helping us out. Hell yeah, man. I'm sorry Shannon ain't called, man, but Shannon's crazy. And uh, I'll check him <laughs> out and I'll bring him back on. It's all good. It's all good. But yo, Shane got something out. dope coming out, though, man. He's going to be doing his own show. I think he's doing it, like, in a camper or some shit. It's like, dude, he got, like, Marley Marr involved in it and shit. Like, it's going to be dope, man. Oh, like, so I'm going to bring him back on here to talk about that. But, yeah, Shan's okay. my brother, man. I love MT Shan. That's probably my best friend in this rap shit. But, uh, yeah, I'll get him. I'll, I'll track him down. We'll bring him back on here shortly. You know what I mean? But, uh, again, y'all, congratulations. I appreciate y'all. You know, you'll be hearing from me real soon. Definitely, man. Appreciate you, Pat. Thanks again. All right, man. I love you, man. Be safe out there, man, for real. Love you back. All right, I'm going to check the 917 caller right here. I gotta get these calls quick. I don't want to let nobody to drop. That's New York. Nine one seven. Yeah, what's going on with you, man? DJ Sincere calling through Dirty Basement Radio, man. Just uh, coming in to show some love and uh, give you guys congratulations on this on this uh, milestone. Man, Big salute to you, man. Man, what's DJ, going on, man? DJ Thank Sincere, you. what up with you, homie? Man, it's all good, man. Just maintaining, you know, what I'm saying, holding it down and. Uh, you know, trying to, you know, weather this storm that we're going through. But, you know, it's all good. You you know who this is? I beg pardon? I said, you know who this is? is Dyer Lansky. Oh, Dyer Lansky. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's going on, family? Man, you know, I was, up, I was, man. You know, I was, I was, I was, <laughs> you know, I was, I, I was tuned in a little earlier. You know what I'm saying? I heard cocaine come through. Uh, I heard uh, Boss Hall come to you know right before the little technical problem. So yeah, a uh, man is definitely is definitely like a like like a whole big reunion today, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna oh, be a great show, great show, great show. Yeah, <laughs> good to hear yeah, from you. Yeah, I had to restart it. I had to yes, sir, the thing, though. Yeah, you know how to restart the thing. You know, Blog Talk was doing a little hating, so we know we, and everybody <laughs> heard the show anyway. So we had to just restart everything and get everything back in square. Yes, sir, man. I know how it is, yeah, man. Lots. About the lots. Ball. Yeah, but tell us about the show that you got going on, man. I know you got some things lined up for the week. Yeah, well, well, you know, um, you know, I I got a guest scheduled, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm heavily into battle rap. I've always been heavily into battle rap, been following it, like, ever since we had the pleasure uh, a while back of um, interviewing Loaded Lux. So, you know, I've been trying okay. to, you know, holler at a few other, I've been trying to holler at a few other battle rappers you know, so we managed to uh, we managed to nail down and uh, get scheduled for this coming Tuesday. Uh, we're scheduled to have B Magic on this Tuesday. G Ma- okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely yeah I'm definitely looking forward to uh, you know talking to him. Definitely one of my top ten you know uh, uh, battle rappers. You know what I'm saying I always like the way that dude. You know what I'm saying I like the way he spit. I like his demeanor. You know what I'm saying. So I'm definitely looking forward to talking with him. Good show, man. Yeah. We, we definitely yeah, push that forward, man, for you. Yeah, definitely appreciate it. But, you know, tonight is your night. You know, it's all about it's all about your celebration. It's all about, you know, your milestone. You know what I'm saying? So we should definitely be, you know, saluting you for, you know, uh, uh, you know, coming forward in this arena, you know, keeping it pushing, being consistent with it, and, you know, putting out a good product. 
So that's what it's all about. Yep, people like it, bro. Who help us out? Yeah, definitely. People like yourself to help us out. You know, it helps us. You know, you die are so many people, man. You know, y'all really, you know, give us the support to keep going on. And you know, like I said, for all of our guests, you know, and all of our sponsors, man, y'all help us do this. We can't do it without y'all. Y'all play just as much of a big part in this as well. You know, so we appreciate y'all so appreciate much. It. I appreciate that. Definitely, definitely. Oh, death, man. Hold on, I got another caller coming in from the 909. Okay, now there's North Carolina. Oh, wait a minute, it's California. No, 909, that's Carolina. That's like California. California, I believe. Yeah, 909, you want? That's, that, that's the Inland Empire. What to do, King Garrett? It's, guess who? What it, who this be? Oh, this black power. What's going on, man? <laughs> I a, uh, come on, man. You can't disguise your voice like that, man. What's going on, man? What's going on? You know, I just, you know your welcome brother, Black Power, had to come slide through. Show your love on your 300th episode. It's a hell of a landmark, man. man. Definitely, man. We man. appreciate it. Well, man, you always you started with nothing, the ground one, and and now look at now look at you. You're on the way to the top 300. of the hundred. Mm-hmm. Definitely, Dude. and little power. You always called in to chop it up with us, man. So we appreciate you so much. You know, coming by. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you always had you know the input. You know, in the conversation. So, um, I mean, you you're just as part much a part of this as you know anybody. That's my, that's real love. I feel that. You guys are all heart. I appreciate that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You know, so what's going on out in Cali? You know, you and Daya, you know, kicking it out there. I mean, what's what's happening from your side of it? Uh, you know, California. You know, California staying on lockdown. The r- rumor yeah. is that they might be they might be reopening uh, before May. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, everything, you know, that's the tentative issue right now, you know, with everything going on, you know, because uh, they're trying to get an idea case by case in terms of what's happening with the state, in terms of, you know, the, you know, the spirit, you know, in terms of what the cases are, the new, you know, uh, the new ones coming up, you know, um, you know, the ones getting better, the ones who didn't, and just, you know, like I said, the main thing is to just be responsible with it. You know, we want a sense of normalcy, but still, we want something where, it's going to be healthy to get back to normal state as opposed to jumping into right. it. So we just got to do it the right way. You of know, course, uh, of course. For okay, me, I've been know, taking uh, this time positive. So, like, meditate, read some books, drink water, do some yoga, and meditate, do some yoga, watch documentaries. Mm-hmm. This quarantine yeah, made me realize what's more important in life friends and family. That too, you know, and that too, and I think we all are on the same accord with it. You know, Dyer needs his time to really, you know, hone his craft, which he's already a pro at, you know, but he's just sharpening that steel of the skill, you know, and, um, you know, of course, you said you're meditating, King and myself, we've been working. I think for one thing about it is that, you know, as I was telling Dyer earlier, you know, this is called The Great Pause. The guy by the name of Julio Gambito, he wrote an essay, and he was basically just saying about, we have to think about what we're going to do moving forward after everything begins to move again in terms of how we are going to treat each other, you know, what do we use this time to reflect upon ourselves and find out. And um, there's no greater gift one can have than self-evolution and expansion and being able to really, really, you know, broaden the talents that we all have, um, you know, and it also shows, you know, because I think if any of us here, if any of us had told us five years ago something like this was going to happen, we would have never believed it. I mean, and now look at where we're at, you know. Um, I mean, just being not being able to go to the park and just take a walk is like, wow, you know. So it makes us think about, you know, how sometimes we take stuff for granted or how we – you know, should it? Because even a little of things can go just to the snap. And, you know, you've got to think about that. Be thankful for your day. Yes, 
sir. Hold on, we got a caller from the 631 right here. That's New York okay, City. 631. 631? Okay. What's shaking? What's shaking, man? It's your boy, Common Madman, Schoolboy in the building. What's good, yeah. my people? What's up, bro? What's going who on, hand, man? Who hand? What's good? What's going on? Yeah, we had to re- we almost had to reset the show, man, because I was like, nah, I'm not going to let 300 go down like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, big up. Big up to the 300 show, man. That's a blessing, man. Keeping that hip-hop, keeping the, keeping everything going, man. Yeah, I try to, I'm trying What's to pace the show a little bit man? better. What's that? I was like, damn, I can't let this thing go down like this. Nah, man. Yeah, nah, you know, what's so Go ahead, go ahead, Connor. Go ahead. There's always technical difficulties, but you know, it get fixed and we right back at it, you know. And I'm here to Definitely. I'm here to represent for y'all, you know, off the top radio, you know. Definitely, man. Look, we Most y'all and uh, tell us about that project that uh that um poet is working on. He stay come up with some heat. Yeah. Oh yeah, he should be calling in. He should be calling in right after me, so Okay. You know, uh, he'll be able to tell you a little bit more about that. You know, it's 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 a schoolboy record, it's Bandman Man release. Ain't nothing but heat on there. That's all I can say. You know, uh, it's 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 a perfect time for that album right now. You know, Simon Phoenix. Yeah. 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 You know, with with everything that's going on, nobody can't shake hands no more. Nobody can't be around no more. The toilet paper shortage. You know, you think about Demolition Man, and, and you know, it fits right perfect right now with what's going on. Yeah, man. And when you look at it, uh, School Ball, Connor, there was something where when we looked at that movie, for those that haven't seen it, you know, it was uh, the typical action fair. But that movie, when you look at it, had a really, really deep message. And I think all of us will agree that, you know, when you look at it, you know, beneath all the action, you know, you look at the situation of how one man ended up basically telling everybody else how to live, and it took yeah, somebody basically. from the past. Yeah, and it took somebody from who wasn't correct himself. And at the end of it, you know, when uh, you know, Stallone, the good guys win. You know, basically everybody's so confused about what do we do next. And you know, Dennis Leary, you know, who stole the movie, I mean, he's basically saying, you know, because, you know, halfway through the movie, he's talking about why they wanted him dead. He says, why? Because I know how to think for myself, and I'm not going to let nobody rule me. Exactly, you know. Uh, Exactly. You know, you know, and uh, Dennis, you know, he crazy, you know, but uh, Dennis, you know, but Dennis brought that uh, crazy uh, white boy mentality to it. He was like, yo, you know, but that was real. You know, his thing was... Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't... He wasn't going to be programmed, you know? Exactly. He didn't want to be programmed. He knew what the truth was, you know, where the people above surface, you know, they was following the rules, you know, no no violence, no this, no that. You couldn't even curse, <laughs> you know? And look, and look, even Simon Phoenix was dropping jewels in it because, you know, Phoenix was like, yo, man, you can't take away the right for people to be assholes, you know? It's like, but he was saying, you know, people have a right to think, you know, whatever they want to believe, you know, uh, in the words of the great Optimus Primal Transformers, freedom is the right of all sentient beings. <laughs> True indeed. You know, you True know, and that movie good. really, yeah, you know, and, uh, but that, but definitely, man, but when we come out of this, you know, uh, I think we're definitely going to be strong and it's really going to, you know, make us think about how fast things can, um, you know, change for us. How have you been using this time, Comet, to really, uh, you know, perfect your craft in terms of what you've been doing? Um, you know, honestly, it's more like, um, you know, for those that that's been a, that's been away and shit like that. So it's more of a, you know, isolation time. You know, um, right. You gotta go out. You only go out when 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 you can go out. You don't want to go out all the time. You know, you're more inside. You you're writing more, you exercising. Um, that's pretty much what I've been doing, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, just keeping my mind busy. Creative. Yeah, without yeah. having to be outside, you know, because we all love outside. But once it's taken away from you, you know, the average person will go crazy. But if you've been in a situation where that 
that has been taken away from you, you you know how to do and you know how to rock. So, you know, it's just more uplifting yourself, um, eating better, learning learning better habits, uh, building that immune system, make sure our immune system is built, you know, always eating that vitamin C, them oranges, the fruits, the salads. Um, you know, it's just it's just preparing, you know, because this, this ain't the first time that, you know, that we've dealt with something big like this. You know, you had Spanish flu, you had Ebola, you had all these things, but it didn't spread as fast as this, you know? Definitely. This was like, Definitely. This, was, this was like an overnight boom. Now you quarantine, now you can't go out, now you can't, now you're worrying about the money being exchanged, now you're worrying about your envelopes that come in the mail, now you're thinking about the packages or Am I too close to this person now? Or he just sneezed over there. I gotta get the hell up out of here, you know? Right. And, and you just don't, you just don't know right. when, you know, for the, for the average seasonal sicknesses like your colds and and your flus, you know, you know, you're good three days. You got the cold, you know, you got the flu. It's a week. It's gone. But you know, this is taking lives and, you know, people you care about. So, it's it's, it's real out there, you know. And you gotta protect your yeah. family, you know. Yeah, man. And, hold on, uh, you know, some people. Hold on, I gotta yeah, hold on one man, second. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try to plug in another caller here, cause see, I don't want no other disasters to come in again. So I'm trying to get everybody word in. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> that was a bitch, boy. Let's see, we got uh, a two one. I think it's two eight one. Hold on one okay. second. Let me make sure everything is good today. Refresh this button. Two eight one. That's Texas. That's Texas, as a matter of fact, I believe. 281. 281. Yo. What's going what on, up? man? What's going on? What, what up? What up? Oh, man. Chilling, chilling, man. It's Psycho, man. Houston. Big Psych. What Big Psycho do? rap you a lot. Chilling his house. Hey, yeah, what's going right, on, brother? Man. Oh, man. Chilling, man. Trust about it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. Holding it down. This quarantine thing running me crazy, but you know we're we making it. Me and the fam yes, straight. Man. How about you fellas? We good. Yeah, hey man, I'm, just I'm just maintaining, a maintaining. Shot right now, but hey, we maintain it, man. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that's, well, I'm gonna come hey, out here looking like news. after this old one, be looking like Jumanji. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Big crazy, child burns crazy, but. As long as I'm healthy and the family healthy, you know, nothing else matter right now, you know? Right, Definitely. right. Definitely. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, man, I'm 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 glad, man. I'm I'm happy for you, man, you know what I'm saying? Three hundred, you know what I'm saying? We on the three hundred. So that's right. You know, that's the hey. That's 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 a mile right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, a lot of people don't make it to a hundred, bro. Uh, Mike Bajan and Thorough, those brothers are doing. They, 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 they on the come up, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, Mike and uh, Mike really trying to surprise some people, man. Mike is really doing his thing, man. And he, I mean, I got a whole EP on Mike, bro. It's, it's pop, man. He got some pop shit gonna come out this year too, man. So, you know, we gonna get past this thing, man. We just gonna come out. Man, you're coming out all kind of ways, man. But I mean, we got some really solid music, man. Thorough's working real hard, and right now that's all they're doing is just staying in the lab, man, and just trying to, you know, trying to get it in. But uh, yeah, we got some new stuff gonna get ready to come out, man. We just working hard right now, staying in the lab. Definitely, man. You know, just like you know, when you on the show, man, you drop so many gems, you know. You, you know, Comet, you know, Dyer, you know, all y'all gave us some gems. And there's one gem that you dropped in particular that we, me and King, we still always talk about to this day, about pick up the fucking phone. <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Pick up the fucking I mean, phone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, bro, I mean, I, I can never get comfortable, man. I mean, like, I can never get comfortable. You know, and, it, and it's just it. You never know what's on that line, bro. Real exactly, time. exactly. Yeah, man. You know, that's one element of sitting there with a million-dollar deal on the table, and people just don't pick up the phone and just miss it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know, they say they say money don't knock on doors, but shit, I don't think money knock on some doors. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, you out there, you know, putting yourself in positions where um, you could be 
successful with this with this your know, money knocks on the door. Money right. Knocks on the door. Right. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got you gotta put the work in though. You know what I'm saying? You can't be scared of work. And you gotta answer that goddamn phone. Yeah, well, you said that emphatically. <laughs> and I, yeah, I bro, you that never, you never know, you up, bro. Hey, that, that know. really, hey, bro, I'm gonna tell you something. You, you, you wanna, you wanna really make me change my temperature with you, man. You know what I'm saying, man? And you know, my whole thing is this here: if you on business, pick up the phone, bro. You, I'm gonna tell you, nobody gonna take you serious, man. You don't ever pick up the phone. Even if you just got assisted, to pick up, but somebody needs to pick up the damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> they got handy the business, man. man. And, the, and the business comes manners. through the phone, man. You know, got to answer yeah, that phone. Sure. And we got and we got to take a second for the pause because we got to be like where our man is at. You know, Dyer, you know, Comet. This our homie, Big Sight from Houston. You know, one of the OGs, man. So it's only right, you know, y'all make the proper introduction, man. Y'all family here, man, you know. What's up, man? That, peace, 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 my brothers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay safe yeah, out yeah, there. I'm trying to get all these calls <laughs> in because, yeah, I'm trying to get all these calls like I can. I'm going to try to pull get another one from the 323, 323 West Coast. Okay, that. Let's see what we got on Charlie. the Let's see what we got up here. Definitely. Yo, it's Bonnie three, Dollar. Two, three. What's, What's going good, on? Buddy? How you doing? You LA Love. How's, how's everybody? We good. Uh, How about good. you? We you I'm Luke doing the West Coast. Just, just tapping in with everybody, you know what I'm saying, seeing what y'all got going this evening with the topic for the show. Yeah, we just celebrate 300. We, we we reached the milestone, so I'm letting everybody just call in and chop it up. I was gonna do it <laughs> one by one, but I'm like, nah. After what happened earlier, Take it apart. I'm trying to bring everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to bring everybody on. Yeah, the you know, boy party, party. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Hey, man, I want y'all to be looking out for my boy, man. Hey, I got a cat named, I call him 6'10", man. He was about to make okay. his debut, bro. He he was about to make his debut. He, he uh he, He's actually 6'10", too, you know. That's how tall he is. But um, Okay, okay. I call him, I call him, I call him my Houston Nate dog, man. When I say he's a hook master, bro, and he's working on a new project, I'm working with him, too, man. And, um... The man got a story to tell, you know what I'm saying? And he, hey, his, it comes out in his music, and y'all be listening for him, man. He, he's he's mm-hmm. awesome, real. Awesome. Okay. Definitely, okay. man. Look, man. The kid, the one that wanted, I'm just gonna tell a small story on him, right? There. He was actually trying to make a debut. Uh, he's trying to make his debut, his first game, you know, when the season started and shit. And he got shot up, man, a day before. Oh, lost a couple of fingers and shit, and you know he got hit Ooh. up pretty good. But hey, but he's back on. He's strong. You know what I'm saying? He's God fearing, and, and 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 believe me, man, he got a story to tell. The boy got some good music, and y- y'all gonna be listening. Just be looking out for him, man, because you know I'm trying to trying to brainstorm out here in Houston, man. You know what I'm saying? Because everything's at a standstill right now, so we just in the lab working. I hope everybody else is staying safe and. You know, being able to, you know, still get working or whatever. You know, we got our own studio, so God blessed us with that. So we don't have to be going to somebody else's shit or whatever. But y'all be listening, right, out, right. looking out for it. Definitely. Talk. Definitely. Definitely, death, definitely bro. man. Sir. But, yeah, he definitely got a story to tell. I'm going to send you something on it, man. Uh, you're going to really like it, bro, uh, Eric. Well, of course. I mean, really look, it, man. so we know it's gonna be good. So yeah, man. I mean, look, you know, you know how to reach us. You know, when you're ready to get them on, you know, we ready to have them on. Oh yeah, and so, I yeah, got my G A G one. I got my G A G one mixtape. It's gonna drop. I'm 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 finishing it up right now. I'm polishing up a couple of songs or whatever, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna have about eight bangers on it, man. Just some bangers. Shit, I'm just gonna, gonna give it out, man. We're just gonna flood it. Gonna flood the streams with it. We gonna we gonna see, man. I'm gonna send you one tonight, here. Well, matter of fact, I send you one while we on the phone. Okay, that's all up, right. Up. I get a hook up right there, man. I get, I, you know, I gotta yes, give it. I gotta give a stand ovation myself. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes, sir. Give us the, uh, hey, Bonnie, you I'm there? gonna send you one right. Yeah, if I'm here. Yeah, just had to make sure you I'm didn't here. get your get your call dropped. We trying to make sure everything is on lock tonight because we trying <laughs> to make this thing run smooth. I had to literally do the show over. Oh, no, nah, you so silly. No, nah, I'm, I'm here. I am here. Yeah, tell us tell us about what you what you what you do and where you at. Let these cats know. Well, you know, I'm um I go by the name of Bonnie Dollars, um, aka the Queen of Trap. I'm a songwriter, um, as well as a um, rap artist, um, out out from South Central area, and um, I currently, yeah, yeah, from Nipsey Hustle District. You already know, and so um, yeah, Chris, right all now. Yeah. That's right. You already know, baby. So, yeah. So, yeah, right. Man. I'm about to actually re- release me a um, release my first mixtape. It's called Trap Season on April 23rd this month. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and basically, my mixtape is, um, um, you know, I did a 60 day challenge. I don't know if, if um, anybody that's following me on here, but I did a 60 day challenge um, last year where 60 days straight I dropped a new freestyle. So what I did was. I uh, took all 60 of my freestyles, and I had people voted on which was their favorite days. And I picked 16 songs out of those, and I put them on wax for my mixtape consists of. So something different. Okay. That's what I got going. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, definitely. Now, how did you find yourself growing as an artist? Because it's one thing to have the artistic dedication to the craft. To be able to do 60 straight days of fire rhymes is like something special. Uh, how did you manage to keep yeah, up that marathon? Yeah, that's too much right there. Yeah. Too much. How'd you, how'd you go? Yeah, how'd you do with it? How'd you keep with that marathon of the mind to go to drop some uh, fly, <laughs> drop some fly to fight there? That's tough. I mean, well, you know, it, it took a lot of dedication. And what I said to myself is it was a couple things that inspired that. So I said, first of all, uh, me being business motivated, I said, you know what? Um, before, I, before I work for someone else, I'm going to work for myself. I'm going to dedicate, you know, time every day to, to my craft. Um, as well as, you know, I wanted to keep putting out content. And then, you know, last year, um, rest in peace, Nipsey, you know, he, he, was, he was killed. So, that inspired me as well. And I said, you know, people drop freestyles. I see I see some artists doing once a week and stuff like that. But I said, 60 days straight, that's, like, absurd. Like, no way. No female artist is doing that. I don't even think a male artist right. did 60 days straight that I know of. But I said, you know what, let me let me do something different and, and, and you know, dedicate that to Nipsey. So that was that was my way of paying homage to him. Yeah, that's yeah, that passion, man, though. That's, that's the passion. You know, mm-hmm. to give you sixty Absolutely. days straight. That you know that that comes from dedication and having the passion for this. I salute you for exactly. that. What up? What man, up? Look, I'm in white. Thank look, you. Look, the Cali. It's all love, man. I want to take Yay. a quick. I want to take a quick second. Hey, hold on, one second, guys. Hold on, hold on, one second. Okay, one second. One second. One second. I got another call on the line. Well, I think it's one okay. of our co-hosts, our old co-hosts. Okay. Hey there. How y'all doing? Hey. hey, it's the girl Tintilla. Y'all already know from the H. Happy 300 off the cuff. Yes, Woo. that's right. <laughs> Good energy. 300. And look, I, I already it. know King been King been making sure that this shit go down. I know we, we didn't have all kind of hiccups. Nick, as soon as we get in deep conversation, they be cutting us off. I heard you talking about something <laughs> happened earlier. I don't know what happened, but I don't that's doubt it. Man, can you yeah, say the strong? You the last show and, and redo it again. I'm like, well, I'm not falling out like this. Oh man, <laughs> see, see, Bob Talk better get it right, and if it ain't them, they better go talk to the source or something. Cause Lord, King been knocking right. them out, regardless of the struggles. He been making it happen. He's the one constant thing throughout this whole damn thing that shit yeah. he ain't stopped. So I salute you. I salute everybody that came on from day one. Till now, that got still some that scheduled all of them. Everybody that listened, I salute everybody because without all of y'all, King would have had even more hell. And God knows we don't need him to have all that goddamn hell. If he quit fucking with Trump, you know what I'm saying? Karma might get better for you. Though. <laughs> 
And before the, I was before to get we the get the any further. Just, huh? Yeah, I was doing that just to get the I was doing that just to get a label advance, but you know how you treat me now. <laughs> yeah, your label advancement is gonna be inmate. It's just which county or which prison, nigga. That's your label advancement. He playing. He talking about he wanted to get the bag. He's going to get some handcuffs. They're going to be gold, though, just because it's Trump. He already took out check back and said, hold up. I got to put my name on the memo. You know? <laughs> he, he might take your gold cuffs back and say, nigga, let me bling you out. I know how you niggers love it. Put you on some little right. bling and say, take his ass to mm, this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He'll get with Adidas and go get them shoes back, put them handcuffs with them, them shackles and make them real, though. You know? Oh, Lord. You know, I'm like eight. Lost it. Oh, you I ain't going to lose it. You know I'm a damn yeah. fool. I can't. And yeah. then hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, guys. Because you know what? I'm going to tell y'all guys this. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a dice roller. I'm going to try to roll the mm-hmm. dice here again. Now, if this doesn't work again, y'all got to pull up on Sunday. Because I'm going to redo this show by any means necessary. So I'm going to try to bring on <laughs> Sandman. Okay, I got my label, so y'all better pull up Sunday if this don't work. If this happen again, I'm gonna see y'all Sunday. Okay, so. We're gonna roll the dice here. See we can bring my man Sandman on. Hold on, okay. what's that? Oh, he's smoking. That nigga said, Hold on. He ain't finished smoking. <laughs> He ain't trying to multitask right now. He said he got man, his little just, drink. We, we were just saying they got to answer the phone, man, and they don't want to answer the phone. They got to answer the phone. Stand me in the crowd back the if, phone, if, if he son. anywhere near it. If, if it was just, Bro, for, if, it was just the the blunt, if, if it was just a blunt, if it was just a blunt, Stand me ain't going to call right back. He going to call right back. I got to do this. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I have to do the studio call in. But, but look, yeah. but before we go further, right look, look, I heard I heard we had Ace Town representation on the phone. I'm going to look out for your boy 610. You know, I had to say that. You know what I'm saying? Studio time right now. Hey, at the end of the day, while everybody's supposed to be quarantined, one thing niggas still coming around for, can you give me some studio time somewhere? Nigga, is you not supposed to be quarantined at home? Do you have corona? Like, have you been tested? <laughs> I'm just wondering. But either way, Shout out to y'all doing it big. And, ooh, Miss Ma'am, I was hearing the 60-day challenge, and you did that and then put it into a damn album. That was uh, that right there, I got to salute you, because during this time, people are getting creative, but that wasn't during Corona time. And she did that and, and made it happen. It didn't involve another project. And you know what I'm saying? That, that right there, like you said, that's business. And I salute you, because not too many female MCs out there just – trying to do better and, and you know, use the, the same capital and double it later on, just exactly. edit it and tweak it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Sometimes you got to work I smart, not hard. For sure. I appreciate your, too, you know? your efforts and your service. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Shilla right, is this shit still right there? Yes, it is. Right there. My nigga said, From New York to Kansas, what it do? What's going on, everybody out there? Mr. Same Man signing back in and shit on his 300th episode of Off the Cuff yeah. Radio. Yeah. yeah. He picked up the phone. Me. I was in the cut. I was in the cut for a little. I was in the cut for a little while, like Batman, just listening to y'all. Oh, uh, okay. Fight, okay. Fight, yeah. Fight said, when he's going to pick up the phone, we pick up that phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Either the blood or the drink. One of them is going to talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is going on, everybody? You know, first and foremost, congratulations. Congratulations yeah, hey. to y'all motherfuckers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, 300 episodes is definitely a milestone. You know, definitely had legends up on the show, legends and you know rookies or whoever that was contributing to the to the music game. Shit, we even had fitness experts on the show. We thank you all for joining us on this on this journey. Hell yeah, doing sit up. 
Definitely. <laughs> yeah, be like it was. I forgot. I forgot what this one chick name was that, that we had on the show. I'm so mad I forgot her name. But like she was telling us about Himalayan pink soul. Like ever since she told us about that, it was a rap. I had got like motherfucking three of them shits. It's called Motha versatile. You know. Yeah. yeah that's your you know. You got motherfuckers just talking about anything. Shit they wasn't even planning on talking about. When you get to this show, they get so comfortable. We all get so comfortable. Niggas start telling you that they toe is crooked right now at that point in time that we don't even care. You know what I'm saying? how comfortable niggas get, you know? Hey, this is the house away from home. You know what I'm saying? This is the house away from home. You're supposed to be comfortable on here. You know what I'm saying? Come on here and and speak your shit. Yeah, yeah. Family. Family vibes for sure. <clears throat> you know, I mean, and, you know, we always, always go outside the box. You know, like we, like I said, we don't only interview music artists. We also interview, you know, people in different aspects of the game. Yeah, I mean, look, we've done interviews. You know, I mean, look, producers. You know, promoters. I mean, we a jeweler. You know, I mean, we. You know, yep. You know, one thing about it. The, um, and I got to take this time to say, uh, because I'm still so humbled that you all brought me in. And to see the the coalescence of genius, you know, to California, to New York, to Texas, worldwide, and to be a part of what you all started and for me to be included that you all welcomed me in, um, I'm speechless in terms of my thank yous and how much it means to me. Thank you so much. Hey, we Thank appreciate you. you. We hey, appreciate you. Max, so are we are sending some knowledge. We over here having all kind of debates and, and, and not even debates, just conversations. And that nigga come with them big old words and them strong ass facts that <laughs> you don't know whether to get right. a or a dictionary <laughs> or a motherfucking hip hop guide to what's going on in the life. You don't know what the fuck to look up, but you know you got to look all that shit up because that shit sounded smooth and it sounded good. You know it was probably true, <laughs> he, but now you got to go research about gotta, what the fuck he, he was really talking about. So it's he's a Jesse he's Jackson of the guillotine. <laughs> got me over, got me over here pulling out dictionaries and shit. Okay. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. We got what another caller. We got another caller. We got this is like a big old get together here. This is the quarantine party here. We got a four one five caller. Okay. We got the run that's block talk that's, that, that's that. That's San. That's San Fran. That's Mission District. That's how San Fran. Four one five. Yeah, yeah. Off the cuff, what's happening? What's going what's on? What's happening? What's happening? Who's just what's calling in? Oh, man, it's the uh, West Coast Country Good Boy, dog. man. Fleetwood, man. What's going down? Oh, oh, oh shit. shit. Hey, what's up, baby? Hell fucking yeah. Shouts go, yo. Shouts go out to Fleetwood and the Cotton Pickers, B. Dead ass. Yeah. And happy belated yeah. birthday to his daughter, Zephaniah. What was that, yesterday, Fleetwood? Uh, it was her birthday? Yeah. What's up, CC? Yeah, yesterday was her birthday. What's up, CC? Uh, you know I love you like peanut butter, love jelly. Straight up. Oh, man, you know, uh, you know my niggas. That's right here. This, this right with here the trust, good, oh, With the yeah. trust peeled off the bread. Yo, yeah, yeah. 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 And I just want to say I'm proud of y'all, man. I'm proud of y'all and uh, everything y'all been doing. People y'all been giving the platform to. You know, I'm proud of y'all, man. Um, a lot of people start these type of um, radio shows and fall off. Y'all been real consistent. Y'all been, um, I've seen y'all build. You know, I've seen y'all grow. And um, I think the best is yet to come. You know, so I just want to tell y'all yes, keep doing what you're doing. Anything I can do to support you, y'all already know what it is. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the 600 show, the 900 show. Huh. Things hey. that so, you know, yeah, it's man. all good, fam. I, and and let know, me tell you, and let me, yeah, let me also got, tell you, like, to you. You, you, hell yeah, yeah because you like, you like the uncle to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you helped us a lot <laughs> also. <laughs> Really yeah, it's good, man. People help me, hey, you know, that's what it's about, bro. That's and even when he ain't around, he's a pirate. 
Sleep, sleep with him and fire with you when he's not around because he, he'll tell you some shit in your ear, whether it be on the show or, or personally when we on the phone or something, they, he'll say something and he'll be ringing in my ears a year later. And they just like, man, that nigga, that's what he was talking about right there. You'll see it. Oh, so he yeah. will be kicking that yeah, knowledge. And then he, he bring guests that don't, it, 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 they bring talent as far as the rapping, but they bring knowledge. They bring some community ship, leadership to the, to the table and tell you about it. You know what I'm saying? Well grounded. That's what I'm talking about. The versatility of the show is just off the charts. Oh, yeah. she, she giving you such a, she giving you such a, uh, a dedicated. I'm about to tell you, man. Come on, move to Houston. I got tried it. I tried it. I always got love. I always got love in H Town, man. You know with the cricket. Planted the seed for me down there, so right. it's all it's always love yeah, down for me down do. there, man. Yeah. That's one of my homes, man. I'm just right now. I'm just trying to get into a position where I can bring something to the community that I come back to or come to. You know, I don't did the rap thing. You know, I did wrote the books, so I'm just trying now. Not trying, but I'm gonna um, put myself in a position where I can um, throw workshops on how to get your your visuals on these um, platforms and, and get some income. You know, people can get their stuff on Amazon Prime and Netflix, but everybody ain't eating off of it. Hmm, right. Everybody, right. everybody oh, that's, that's, off that's of, what's you know up. What you know, yeah, tell us more about it. Like, Facebook. tell everybody more uh, about that. Like, you know, let people know, like, do you have a way for people to reach out to you when it comes to that format? Always hit me on my ground, you know, hit you to DM, um, Fleetwood SF, that stands for San Francisco, Fleetwood SF. They can hit me on the um, email, Fleetwood underscore 189 at hotmail.com. And uh, I'm always looking to um, network and I'm um, looking to build, you know, a nationwide social media marketing team, you know what I'm saying, because it's all about a presence now in cyberspace. So I'm looking to, you know, tap in with people <clears throat> that are uh, passionate about that and good at that, and uh, let's bring it to the table and create an international social media marketing team. You know, that's one of the things I'm trying, not trying, we're going to build, um, hopefully, by the end of the summer. So anybody listening that's great at that or knows somebody great at that or interested in being a part of it, definitely reach out to me. But, yeah, um, on the film tip, too, you know, just get at me. It's good. Yeah, All right, my man. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, yeah. we got another caller on the line, too, I think. I'm going to try to bring on this cat on from the 2-on-3. Got a lot of West Coast. Mm-hmm. Tonight. What's good, West, West Coasting? West Coasting. Yeah. What's happening with you, bro? What's going on, 2 on 3 What's your name? What's going on? Your boy, Big Prodigy, South Central Cartel. Wow. Wow. We appreciate it. Two, one, three, that SEC clip. Yes. Yeah, you know I had to come and salute y'all, homie. You know how it go. Yes. That's awesome. That's definitely awesome. We appreciate you right now, B. Say love. Yo, man. For sure. It's all good. Well, 300 through, shows, man. Huh? What's going on? 300 shows, yeah, huh? man. Yes. Man. So what you up to? What you got going on? Let us know what you got going on. Girl, no, I'm doing what everybody doing, well. doing shit. Staying out the huh. way, making music. Shit, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's about, that's, that that's sums up everybody life right about now. Shit. That's Definitely. Shit. I can't even Bro. tell you nothing else. With it. That's all I can do at the moment. Shit, how was it like out there where you at during this whole crazy pandemic? Like, how was that in your hood? Shit, man. I mean, motherfucker, it's getting crazier. You feel me? Because motherfuckers is broke. Shit, so. Yeah, it's, man. It's getting kind of crazy around up, up, up in South Central. Believe that. I know. That's what I'm saying. I know the wolves got to eat. And you know the wolves yeah. out in South Central. You dig that? Yeah, exactly. You know, so, my studio so, right smack in the hood. So, so that begs the question I want to ask everybody, if anybody has an opinion. As far as, as, as anybody trying to open their city or state, knowing that we already have, you know, people that freely travel from state to state to state, you know what I'm saying, let alone internationally if they open up all the borders. So does anybody right. really think that it should be open or, or and, and back to business as usual? 
or do, do y'all think it should be still trying to, I mean, as painful as it is, you think niggas still need to sit the fuck down and stay the hell out the way and let this shit die I, down because we can't see it and I shoot it? I want uh, me to be, I think right now, man, they need to sit their ass down. They don't know, they don't have a full count. They still talking mm. about how they to be, uh, you know, giving people over 20, what was it, so many millions of tests, and they only did like, like three, three million of them. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that, man. They need, they don't, they don't yeah. even know the people. The hump of this is, is, is steady getting higher. Down here in Houston, shit, I just found out somebody in my neighborhood had this shit. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they shut the schools down or whatever, but they're going to open up, the, uh, you know, the, all the businesses and stuff like that. You don't yeah. know who got what, man, right now. Y'all yeah. they haven't even figured out how to, how to, how to, how to quarantine this shit. So, you know, you like, know uh, people dying, yeah, man. People I, I dying, know. man. It's, it's real yeah, serious, man. People, people dying. I lost family to this shit. You know, like, like yeah. it, it's I'm sorry to hear that. So definitely man, sorry to hear that. So, you know, you know, it's, on. It's, it's, it's serious out man, there, and I just said, why? You, you know, know, the one that, thing that people you, gotta uh, understand. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you just got to put your health first, man, because you don't never know, man. And, you know, your, your loved ones, you got to protect them. You got to let them know what they're supposed to be doing because just like that, you know, you could be sick, man. Look, Fred, the godson got that. You know, my man Chad D. Yeah. Gaddafi dealing with it. So, you know. Yeah, man, prayers go out to both of them, man. <laughs> All right. It, it, and Westside Gun, it's he it. caught it. Yeah, it's West Side it's Gun so caught it. Yeah, Westside yeah, West caught it. He did. He um. He put on his. Stop ID. playing. No, 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 no. Yeah, Thug had actually, it. Yeah, yeah it. Had it. I was you know, know, people hey, Scarface. You know, Scarface had it. You know, so uh, yeah, Scarface. Scarface got it. Slim Jeff, Slim Jeff had yeah. it. You know. One thing. Had Slim it, Slim one thing. And, and you know what else? Me. You know what else kind of bothers me that. about if 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 with all that's going on. And it's been reported, and apparently it's been confirmed due to the FBI investigation that's opened up, how Trump's sitting there telling the states to go get all of the equipment they need and all of this to make sure they're prepared. But apparently FEMA has been intercepting packages, and that's why the states aren't getting what the hell they, they went out to get in certain cases. And it just so happened that when the FEMA did it this time, they ended up trying to intercept a package that was a scam anyway, and so they ended up opening an investigation for the people they were trying to steal it from in the first place. But you know, the fact that news thing. like this is coming out is just ridiculous. To, it, it, there's no way to open up a government, a whole nation, and you got the government sabotaging the state, depending on which yeah. governors he likes or whatever the fuck he got going on in his head. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, and, he's, and, he's, and, he's, and, you know, and one thing about it is, Chinchilla's right, because basically, you know, um, one thing about it is, as y'all know on Off the Cuff, we never cap nothing. We always tell the truth to the best of our knowledge. And when you have a sitting president talking about how he's going to arbitrarily dictate support by who treats him right, no, that's not what a leader does. We're in a crisis right now. This is not about having an ego stroke because basically everybody sees who you are that you're not who you tried to play yourself right. to be. Yeah, you know what right, like the realest the realest the realest shit is that much time. he spent so much time talking about his numbers. Like bro, yeah, he's talking me. about your numbers and motherfuckers is dying by the numbers. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> See here's here's the thing. This this is what I'll say. I don't mean to cut everybody off. This 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 um all right. You know I can't sit there and completely shit on Trump right now or whatever. I'm not capable for him either. I'm just saying, like, you know, you know, put yourself in his shoes when it comes to this predicament right now. For, forget, wait, hold on, forget about, wait, hold on, let me finish. Let, like, forget about what happened in the past. Yeah, he, he took too long to prepare, whatever. Forget about that. The past is in the past. Now he's dealing with this. He told everybody to stay in the house, whatever the case may be, right? People are still complaining. But, he but, sent but, out. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Basically, it's like then if he do, then if he don't, because 
He tell people to stay in the house. People's not really staying in the house. He he shelled out bread. You know what I'm saying? People are still complaining. Oh, we want more. We want more. We want more. So now he's on some shit. Now he's wait, hold on. Now he's on some shit. Now he's like, you know what? I'm about to start opening up you um the United States little by little. And people was complaining about that. So if you was in, if you was in Trump's shoes, like how would you feel? Is that you you done tackled all the bases no, and people wait, are wait, still wait, complaining. Say man, let me please say one thing. If I was in Trump's shoes, I'd feel like straight shit. When them people were telling him about this back in December, December, yeah. in, in the early part of the day, they were telling him about this shit. He let them gates stay open. Now this yeah, shit is did. overflowing. That, you see, you see, that, wait, wait, wait. That's what I'm saying. No, 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 wait. I was saying, like, forget about the past. We know that he, he, he we know he dropped the ball on that. We, know, we all okay. know that. We okay, all know me, that. I'm talking end. about right okay. now. What would, okay, what would you, if you was Trump, what would you do? No one that go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me let me say this. Look, look, let me tell you why. Number one, the problem is okay, forget the fact that they were so worried and he already said that he was worried about impeachment, that he wasn't worried about dealing with this. All right, but look, when we had the test, when they were sitting there trying to set us the test and he said no, he wanted them American made. Okay, whatever, that's fine. He, whatever you want to say, don't worry about that part. But when it comes down to when tests were coming in, do you know that he waited until two days after his son-in-law's brother got a patent to make the goddamn test to start distributing tests? You know what I'm saying? My thing is this. At the end of the day, everything he's doing, he's profiting off. Ivanka has patents yeah. right now on fucking coffins and body bags. The bitch had just gotten patents on the fucking voting booths, and look how they fucked up the first, the the, the last election we had. At the, at shit, yeah, the, own, I'm talking about the the pre the primaries that we were just voting in. Everybody, I'm in Houston. The motherfucking voting booths was fucking up. See, I vote early, so at the end of the day, you have less problems. But for people that are voting on voting day, that was a serious problem. It just so happens that Ivanka had gotten. Uh, a China, uh, a patent from China on some damn bone booths. I don't know if they was hers. We ain't going to talk about it. But at the end of the day, I know that since this crisis has gone, that Trump was calling a hoax. Not only was he not trying to help deal with it, this nigga was on live TV telling everybody that it was a hoax that Democrats were trying to pull just to make him look bad because we couldn't impeach him. Number one, that is a president telling everybody don't believe this shit. Still to this day, he's sitting here telling everybody Oh, y'all need to reopen it because we need to get the economy going. I wanted to open it by Easter. So it's telling all of the people that support him, y'all motherfuckers open y'all shit. Look at Florida. Florida still got so many fucking cases because they let spring break beaches stay open. They haven't really closed their fucking state yet. They got And they're reopening what little they did close. So at the end of the day, Trump has a lot to feel like shit for if he gave a fuck. But he don't give a fuck. So let's go to that question is mute because he doesn't give a damn. But... And At the end of the day, wait, the people wait, wait, that vote better give a damn. damn. We got another, we got another call on the line, Mister Chill. I'm glad your passion is back. We we missed you too. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a we got a two one three call on the line. L.A. L.A. Mm. There's the West Coast again. What's up? West this Coast? Tash right here. This this Tash right here. <laughs> What's up, everybody? All right, all right. What's going on? What's up, man? What's up, man? Y'all got invited. Tash from the yeah, links. What's good, brother? Oh, uh, everything is great, man. You know, I'm in I'm in Vegas yeah. right now, quarantined in Vegas. So I'm just listening to everybody all over, you know, all over the map. Uh, I'm just absorbing it. Yeah, I heard Vegas is like a wasteland right now. Not a man, wasteland, but you know, it's, it's deserted. Like ain't nobody outside. Yeah, it's not. It's not, it's, it's it's. I kind of don't recognize stuff when cause you can see everything now. You know, there's nothing in the way. Like no people out. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, at least at least they follow. <laughs> at least they following instructions. Uh, yeah, they yeah they definitely follow them. Yeah, they but they um I just saw on the TV just a minute ago they said that they just um passed this bill. They said the the prisons the prison out here was overcrowded. They got two of them, but they were overcrowded. So they letting like a couple thousand. I don't know how many. I ain't gonna uh, see them. Uh, they said let yeah, them they let them out. Oh, jeez, Louis. No, no, well, no. Yeah, um, they doing that too. Yeah, yeah, but now nah, nah, violent yeah, crimes and stuff like that. They keep breaking it. They keep breaking it. They're like 800, they're like 800 out of once today or something like that. <laughs> but check this out, y'all. Before you, 
before you continue on cash, I just want to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, because I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. I love you all. Yo, happy 300. Happy 300 to the to off the cuff radio to the fucking Gilded team. Another 300 is on this way, and it's, it was just awesome working with you motherfuckers for 300 episodes. And I'm and I'm so proud of y'all for Ooh. keeping the train moving. Much love, yeah, y'all. Yeah, we love you, that, too. Brother. Much love to you too, bro. Yeah, peace, hey, peace, peace. peace. But you know, I think one thing we all got to look at in this situation, I got to give some clarity to our listeners, you know, out there. Number one, first and foremost, 45 can't tell anybody when to open. This is not a situation where he has absolute say. The governor, he can can regulate anything in terms of what's coming in and going out in terms of overseas, in terms of anything, you know, over. But he cannot tell governors here what to do in reference because we're while this is a national emergency, this is not a situation. The only time that there could actually be a total domain, and anybody can check me if I'm wrong on it. I don't mind being wrong. The only time a president can actually em, em, actually invoke a actual edict is when this country is at a civil war of so of, of 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 just total discord, where we're talking about anarchy everywhere. Other than that, unless it gets to that point, the governors of their state have the right to say what they're going to do. Now, there are guidelines Absolutely. that the federal government is going to put in place in terms of, okay, this is the plan. And I guess everybody, I guess all the Trump supporters forgot about that, oh, yeah, even Bush knew this back in 2005. President Obama, you know, echoed these sentiments in 2014, but Bush said it first. You know, huh. if we wait for a pandemic to come, we're not going to be prepared when it comes. Exactly. Obama 2014 yeah. was saying the same thing about we need funding. Obama put in a pandemic response team. These are the really smart doctors and scientists who wait around. They get paid, yes, but they look at every possible scenario if something like this was to happen. Two years mm-hmm. ago when H1N1 hit, when the Ebola hit, why do y'all think it never got to where this is now? You had people behind the scenes early working hmm. on it. 2018, Trump dismisses the whole team. 2020, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah, that's I mean, because, you know, anything Obama did, he tried to he tried to take away. You I know, know, everything. Yeah. Exactly. From, from Patriots, Absolutely. you know, from... from uh, Obamacare and all this mm-hmm. everything, any, anything that said Obama on it, he wanted to take it away. But if you all know Trump from his Trump casinos and his Trump yep. shit, all that shit always fails, man. Because yep. it's bad yeah. business. It's bad business. So that's and the same way he's treating us right now. It's a, it's a bad business. Yeah. He even yeah, said yeah, he yeah. running this country. This is a business that he's running, and it's not. And to to go back to what he was saying, at the end of the day, to, to piggyback, yeah, he doesn't have the right to do any of that, but people got to realize that that's exactly why he's trying to play with these governors. And, and when they when he was releasing those money and all of the benefits and all of that, he was he was playing. He gave Florida everything they asked for, whether they needed it or not. But New York was was shorted on the supply that they got and then got faulty equipment just like California did. But at the yeah, end of the day, yeah. it's the games he's playing. He knows he he's being informed of certain laws of, of the Constitution. He don't know shit. But every step of the way, somebody tell him that's against the Constitution. You know how I just know like, he don't know nothing? Pardon me. Is the fact no, that you know when when the hurricane hit Puerto Rico, he didn't even know Puerto Rico was part of the U.S. <laughs> Like, come on, man! So, how you, how you a pre- sitting yeah, president, pres- and don't He's know this? The president of Puerto Rico. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, how you don't know this? You're supposed to be the president so, of the United States, and you don't know that Puerto Rico belongs to the United States. Like, come on, man! That lets me know that you're just ignorant, and you don't really care for the other people. You you, you only want to see your people do good, you know? And no, it's and and he's hey, uh, he's, hey, he's willing to give. Hey, on the line. Hey, Tash, you on the line, bro? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just listening. I'm done. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> he, 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 dude is willing to give you some bad information just so he doesn't say he's wrong. Look at the shit during the hurricane where he he did the Sharpie shit and, and included Alabama or whatever the fuck it was. 
nigga, at the end of the mm-hmm. day, instead of saying I was wrong about something, but but even if see Bush did some dumb shit trying to do right and and uh, focus on what what they believe in. So at the end of the day, the Republicans were happy about the outcomes, but he was doing some fucked up shit to get it. But Trump, he the the difference in in in. Everything is the fact that he's not doing it for the love of his country, and he's not doing it for the love of his party. He's doing it for the love of himself, and he's he's literally breaking every bit of the emoluments clause, and nobody has done shit about it. But he is profiting off of every piece of this fucking every presidency, thing. and exactly. he's using the exactly. shit. You know, we call and that. He's using the shit out of the money the, that we, we call pay in taxes. People call them the Republicans. I still got one question and nobody has been able to answer. How is it as soon as Obama came into office, they took his phone. Remember that? Man, yeah. His, yeah. Mm. his Blackberry, huh? His he had a Blackberry. Twitter finger every day. Every day. And then on top uh, of that, yeah. just the other day, in his, the other day when he had, he was on national TV or whatever, he spoke on that, how he, the, the dun or whatever, whatever. So the uh, the reporter asked the question. She passed it to Pence and said, "How do you feel about Trump saying that he can give the last word in this and that da da?" Because they was going back and forth. So of course Pence, he ain't gonna sit there and go against Trump. Oh, he tried. He, he, he really tried to sour that shit down, but he really let him know like <laughs> yeah, we we all know that he 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 don't give the last damn word. <laughs> you just a, you just a person that's on the front, man. You just the one everybody gonna throw all the trash on your porch. Uh, yeah. I mean, and that, 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 that's 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 exactly what he's doing. doing what he want to do. And did y'all see just a couple of months ago what he said? His boy, his people would go never see them prisons. Didn't didn't they walk out them damn prisons? Yeah. <laughs> 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 But oh, yeah, look he, what he said. You know, he said he, he got so much authority. He pardoned everybody. Yep. He gave everybody a party. Yes, like, nah, he don't belong now, in there. They still got nope. a little bit. They they still got a couple of them that's sitting there waiting for their points, but they going to get it. Right yeah. after the election over, they going to get them. Hey, what I'm you know, saying is, guys, I'm going to make another dial in. I'm going to try to dial somebody else in here. Wish me luck. Okay. Hope we can stay online. <laughs> I'm going to get thrown off. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. What's up, man? Got Young Bleed in the building. Oh, uh, what's good? Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. up? Yeah. Oh, man, what chilling, up? man. Oh, man, chilling, man. Trying to stay, you know, keep it arm. Um, no no fingerprints, no contact. Poor gang in this coronavirus shit, man. Ducked out, smoking uh, the one on this side tonight. That's uh, all. What's on the top? I feel that. I know that. Stay safe, I stay safe. Believe when you check them back down in Houston, man. It's psycho, man. Oh, oh wow. What's up, fella? What it do? Man, we got you know, I was trying to leave. Here, dog. We got yeah, all the way around. Industry up in here. We got psych. We got Tash for the alcoholics. You got me. Yeah. You got me. Oh, man. Tash, my nigga, too. What's up, Tash? What's up, bro? Yeah, bro? Tash. Oh, oh. I was about to say something, man. What's up, bro? What's happening? Uh, <laughs> chilling, chilling, man. I just talked to Freeway Rick earlier, man. I'm finna get Rick to do an interview and all that shit with me and Pimp and Ken and them. So, yeah, it's good oh, to hear the okay. family talk, man. And yeah, yeah, Yuck Mob, I, I talked to Yuck. I see Rick in L.A., then I seen him in Vegas way before this shit, though. This quarantine shit, but... Yeah. Oh, okay, yup. I just hollered at him. I just um, yup just did an interview for him. I'm gonna be on yup shit Wednesday, and I talked to Big Mike okay. and Joe Goody, man. Fans, I need to get with you too, man. For about 15 minutes on this podcast out there on the Banging 832 Radio too in H Town, yeah. man. Yeah. I've been back and forth with Kuzo. Uh, I talked to um, yeah, no doubt. I'm, I'm gonna get your number. We gonna figure something out. Because everybody want my number. <laughs> okay. I had a number on you, all <laughs> hey, the last time when I come to Vegas. You heard me when I come to Vegas about a year ago. I got a number on you, but you was busting out, I believe. And I just was in there for a layover flight about three or four hours, and I got out. That's why I couldn't get with you. But, um, you might, yeah, make sure we get the number. number. been my same number for 20 years. <laughs> That's why it's two okay, well, I, I, I moved think... to Vegas six years ago, so... Had a, oh. man, we we gonna work it out, man. <laughs> we gonna work it out. Okay, yeah, definitely, man. But I yeah, did, man, I did you a know. Couple songs, just told y'all the subject, but I just did a couple songs with y'all too. Tell you, I did my part because he did his verse before me and everything. But we got some summertime, so coming up. 
summertime. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was great. Uh, yeah, well, that's beautiful, man. Psycho. The truth is, I'm yeah. supposed to be in East Town, but due to the coronavirus, I'm in um, Louisville, Kentucky, man. I come up here between here and Cincinnati for a couple of shows, and all that shit started taking place so I could um, get back to the mail post and shit, so I'm just really staying posted, and I'm coming oh, to East Town. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed yeah. to get in that movie with, um, with Lil Young out there from Switzer House, you know what I mean? Mexican partner. Yeah. He's doing a movie out there called Bonds. I'm coming out there to get in that movie with him. Exactly. Um, That's hey, congratulations, man. Uh, what, what was it? One, two songs you and Thoreau did? Man, who you say? Thoreau. Come on, me. Young Bleed. Yeah, yeah. You said there's about two songs me and Thoreau did? Yeah, remember we went uh, Remember we went to uh, Kano House or whatever, and, we got to, and you, you and Thoreau started on the track, but tried to finish, and then we left. Yeah, because, see, I ain't even heard them since then. Psych, I, um, last time I come out there with my Kanye spot, Kanye working on a project, so we ain't get to do nothing. He still got that joint, you know, a couple we did, but I ain't heard them songs other than that one song since I left from now on. Now. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Get this way, where I, I, I put it together. Yeah, we're going to get back to it, y'all. I already know. How you doing? Show right, man. We got everybody politic and everybody coordinating. Got to do what we got to do when we coordinate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they, 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 yeah, we got some professors on the line, though. They, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I was like, say that because I didn't know what I was talking about, man. <laughs> and nigga, Taz, look, Taz, Taz, Taz you one of my favorites. <laughs> I don't know if I told you that before, but, you know, I, I go back to the OGs, man, you know, um, Ice-T and King T shit, then the alcoholic, but Taz on the solo shit, you know, Bermuda Triangle, one of my favorite songs, nigga. <laughs> Oh, Here he bro, is. Man. Oh, I appreciate that, man. I, I ain't even heard the na- that name of that song in a minute, so that's that's good. Man. Thank you. <laughs> I, I play that whole album still right I, 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 now, I, I, man. I wish we could play something, but I, I can't play nothing on the, on the air like that. Oh, man. But I said, I should oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some new shit coming with Ziggy and some other stuff. It's, okay. it's, it's, that cash, that cash, and that beat nuts too, man. Look nuts, man. Okay. This is official, oh, man. kid. Yeah, I we got a man. That's coming too. We're hey man, kind of gearing up everything for summer, man. So I appreciate yeah. that. And they, if they, we hope there is a summer, bro. Mm-hmm. Wait, this is yeah, I, I don't even want to say it like that. Like I ain't even think about this shit right now. You know, <laughs> we got to get this shit. You know, gotta get one in drop, by any means necessary. Yo, yeah, the music's still gonna drop. The music's still yeah, gonna drop. Yeah, you know, that's what's gonna save us. Tell you too. I, I seen something that Gip did. Gip from um, Goody Mile. He did some. Like it got deep how the just how the, the industry is gonna change because of this back to the the real talent and you know he you gotta go to his uh, ID and listen to what he said but he dropping some gems you know <laughs> he's got mm. knowledge that's what I was gonna ask I was gonna ask all the artists that's on the call if if things didn't ever really go back to normal you know for whatever reason or if it took so long to go back to normal that people got situated in a different kind of routine and a different way of making money to where, you know, mm-hmm. that's why I say it doesn't really go back to normal. Or, or, is the quality of your music, like if you do it and, and send it, because I know, you know, the, the quality can disintegrate a little bit as it's sent over the, the emails and all of that. But yeah. do you think that it would be possible for artists to still put out quality music and, and collaborate with people all around the world or whatever and still put together some good shit if we have to do it a different way and y'all have to do it digitally as far as sending it and, and getting it, you know, everything put together. You know, even Look. after and all of that, because if, if you're not an engineer, you might have to send your wave files to somebody else to get it done. And, you know, I'm just wondering. That's yeah, Look. You Look. Go ahead, bro. Let I me answer send that. that back to me so I can hear that before you drop that. We, I, I got to hear that before you drop it. Because, you know, I'll be dealing with people across the water, and, you know, you got to send the wave files over. But, you know, when yeah. you do that little mix on there, send that back to me, and let me check it out. And if it, if, it, if I feel that it's, it, it's where it needs to be, then go ahead and release that. If I feel it ain't right, then it ain't right yet. You know, don't go dropping music without well, listening to it first, you know? Yeah, that's yeah, why that's I did it. Right. That's gonna take getting used to though, because like when you in a group and shit, like like me, <laughs> everything like half the 
the magic of the music is when you're there doing it with your boys and yeah. you know y'all, yeah. you know the party. Right. One, after we get the work done, it's a party and we having fun and we, you know, right. bonding with your, you know, this and that. That's that's what make the best music to me. But in the last oh, like yeah. year, I I've seen a whole bunch of stuff with no complaints. You know what I'm saying? I think other songs with a lot of people and you know we did it. You know, some people was in New York. Um, you know, I got that doing some stuff with people out of Houston. That's why I did the Yuck Mouth uh, song yep. with, out of the, the people out of Houston and shit. But yeah. you know, it was just like we sent it and they sent it back, then I sent it back to you know, and it, it's cool. Mm-hmm. But I, you know, we've got to get used yeah, to the that. Best be the world together. Probably, so. Yeah, the best vibe is together. But you know, you know, it it, it works. You know, it works. See, that's and good thing. That was the. Go ahead. Good thing we got social media because, you know, you got the Instagram right. and y'all can go live with each other and chop it up, ah, 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 you know? So oh, it gives, gives us a little more connection. You got the FaceTime, you can right. still build, ah, ah, yeah. ah, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what that's, was, I got out of guilt saying that, too. He was kind of saying that, he was saying the reason that it's not going to, music is going to be great after this is what I got out of it, is that he said that, like, this is where you know how the smoke machines and the fancy clothes and the you know, the dance steps and all this shit and everything. You have to let your music and your talent and your this and yeah. you know all these millions and millions of dollars to do big concerts with explosions and all that stuff. It was basically saying your talent in the next year, two years, and this and that. Your talent is going to have to shine. And he said it's going to be a lot of people falling off with that smoke clears kind of. You know, y'all have to hear from him to understand what he's you know trying to say. I mean, okay. let, let me say this. It's obvious. I mean, you you can look at it right now. You know, you know, Taz. You know, we come from the day where you know, kill you to say, you gotta have a new nigga next year. But now, I tell niggas, I ain't living for today. I ain't living for tomorrow. I ain't living for tonight. I'm living. Um, I'm living tonight. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you cut off. You know, my parents had to come home and say that rap shit is a fad. We were when we was young in the '80s until the '90s. But now, I love a lot of the music that's out. We'll be complaining about it, the repetitive um, auto-tune shit, everything you can't dis- distinguish who from who. All of us had a different voice, and I know Taz's voice. I know King T voice. I know Exhibit voice. You know what I mean? And everybody, right. section for section, has something different. You wasn't copying your homeboy. What's the sense in duplicating that whole thing? You know what I mean? So, you know, when you look at it, um, for us that know, it's been that same way. But now... I feel like my parents used to feel, God damn, you know what I mean? I don't know all this different music. When you cut on the radio, I don't I can't tell you. You know what I mean? I stop I get stopped at um and not even saying no names, you know, I'm a future fan on um, the amigos and maybe two to three other those guys that rap the new style and all that kind of shit, which is a repeat style that niggas been flipping a long time ago. But the way it is is cool. But in the club, the beat is jamming, and it's 10, 20 songs, and you can't distinguish who from who. So, you know, that right. kind of saturates the game. And that's all we say, you know what I mean? All I got to say about any of that shit is I'm, I'm, my son, rap, my daughter got a video, you know what I'm saying? But it's like R&B. But I, I'm proud of the youth for, you know what I mean? They they learn from a lot of mistakes we made, you know? But I just wanted yeah. to be an even playing field with the radio, with the – you know, the video people and the internet and all this stuff. Like, come on, man. We we work way too hard for people to get it this easy. You know what I'm saying? So, I, we, should be, we should be playing. They should be playing whoever you just mentioned and everything. They should be playing your stuff, my stuff, her yeah. stuff, yeah, his stuff. Too much know, everybody get a, a, you know, instead of just the same stuff over and over and over it's, and over. It's and all the They brainwash them now, so it's, co- it's going to be hard to get that back. But we should right, be playing right. Now, even, even playing fields, though. But right, right. They, so, they, they, be, they be looking at the 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 the, the followers and and how many likes you got and and all of your trends and all of that. They be looking at sometimes the wrong shit today too. I feel like there was a lot of red tape before. There's a lot of stuff you got to get through as long as you get the paperwork done. You make sure everything's straight. You know what I'm saying? You got the right to to get your money and all of that. That's when the the radio start listening to you a little bit more. And then of course you got to know people all the bullshit. But at the end of the day. When they're sitting here looking for the billboards and some fucking points on YouTube and, and Twitter and all of the social media and whatever the fuck they're looking at, Spotify and all of that, at the streaming, mm-hmm. that should not, yeah. because half the time you look at all of these people that, that are, are social media sensations, and when you put them on a stage, nobody came out, not enough people came out, it's enough to, to fill a venue. 
didn't come out right. for them. They had to put somebody mm-hmm. else that was known or something, or you would just have a crowd that wasn't a crowd. Maybe ten people in the building at best, and half of them came with the, the artist. You know what I'm saying? Or so, a showcase they, crowd. On the showcase crowd was just the artist. When I say you bought and got social media lazy. I, I think old school James Brown. You got to go to the barbershop, the corner store, where niggas buying right. liquor, buying lunch, and put flags up. You know, we want we ain't trying to discredit what they consider a new school or whatever. But what we trying to do is bridge that gap between, you know, keeping the best of both worlds, keeping something old, something new. So the old school right. way right. of applying, that's putting your, your boots on the surface. You got to get out and touch the people, let the people know you're there. You know, Pac said, don't be no one time, you're no stranger. You know what I'm saying? Get out there and fuck with the people versus relying on the flies on social media to bring the people out to the, to, I had that trouble at some shows. I get that, hey, it's going to be lit. And it's just like you say, it's 20 of the showcase artists that just paid to, to come be close to me. You know what I'm saying? And ain't the, the audience. These kids ain't cut you know? like us, though. These kids ain't cut like us, man. To put up flyers I, and all that stuff and go to barbershops and yeah, put up they, flyers. They and they like, ain't no that's what we did with no pride. They, they look at you now like, look at this, though. He, he over there putting up his own flyers. He broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He broke. Right. He's supposed to have somebody doing that for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just right. go, they, right. you kids kind of and spoil you know, it. They, they, they can be hoods and they still spoil you. And it means something. It means something to the public. Hey, I'm back in there again. I got all... We got, hey, hold on, we got a 662 caller right here. Yo. All right. Okay. That's Venus. That's Venus. Let's see what we got up here. 662. It's top dog. What's good, okay. bro? What's going on, man? Shit, just checking in, man. Just stopping through, hollering, rubbing elbows, mingling, meeting, shaking hands, shaking hands and rubbing elbows. You say yeah. top dog? Uh, yeah, top dog. Yeah, top dog. Yeah. Top dog, yeah, what's yeah. happening? It's bleeding. Nigga, what's happening? I know it's bleeding. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't hear you all the way saying that, but it sounded uh, like uh, you were here to say what's up. Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, yeah. I got this old damn. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his voice was going in and out at first, but I caught him at the end when he said his name. Yeah, yeah. Can y'all hear me now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you okay, in? What's, what's going on with, with you? Fellas? Oh, man, What's just working and, and, and staying out the way, man, working and staying out uh, the way and trying to put this project together and all that. Hey, Bleed, I need you to hit me up after we, uh, shit, today, to, tonight, tomorrow, but I need to get at you. I need to throw you on this shit. But you are okay, look, anyway. But, look, yeah, I, I man, got this call. I got this radio shit I do in Houston. I need to get you for an interview, and I'm going to start playing that record on there, too, the one we got. But, yeah, let's pick up what we love for. Yeah, you're damn right. So, yeah, so uh, man, I just been working and investing in things and and moving forward, man. What y'all got going? Same thing. You know, everybody. Yeah. yeah. yeah one, that's what's up, man. What's one up? thing everybody said was saying out the way. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's corona. Right. That corona, corona, man. Yeah. Man. <laughs> see, see, see. Hey, see, it take coronavirus for niggas to stay out the way. Niggas should have been staying out the way. You feel me? See, <laughs> look, what this is, this is, this, 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 is, this is a time where, where everybody got some me time to themselves. You feel me? Yeah, everybody yeah. on this yeah. station right now. Everybody, everybody come out this radio station right there. This, 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 this is a time where we need to really put our mind, like, like not even put our minds together. You know what I'm saying? It's the time where you where you sit back and you get to really know yourself and, and, and think about all the things you want. You feel me? Think all the things you want and get shit done. You feel me? Get busy leaving or get busy dying, man. One of the two, man. Yeah, that's it. Right. Either, either, either shit or get up. You know, it's on the thing. You going to shit or you going to get up. And even, <laughs> even, that even mind this, right. It, it's I'm also a time for everybody life. to rest themselves because at the end of the day, a lot of being able to fight any kind of virus, you need your rest and you need to stay hydrated. I know a lot of times artists going when, when when it's showtime and you got tours or whatever, and you going place to place to place. You know it's hard to stay hydrated because you, you want to drink a whole bunch of water then piss no, it right out. No, no, no it ain't, check it out. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> it ain't hard to stay hydrated, right? It ain't hard to stay hydrated. All you have to do is just drink your motherfucking water. You feel me? See niggas yeah, get yeah, yeah. so tied up in the we get we get so tied up in the party and the crystal and smoking yeah, and the girls yeah, yeah. and all that shit. That's yeah, we hard get to Take care of that's, ourselves. You feel me? That's what hard work comes in. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, all, this, all this little hydration. That's what I've been doing. Take care of myself, man. Look, let me give y'all some game. 
Look, when you get that self time that you talk about, nigga, trust me on some Dr. Baby, nigga, that lime water. Put your lime in some water. That get that clear. That's for cancer, diabetes, everything else. That should make yeah, you feel hey, better. Hey, hey, hey. Alkaline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I put on that lime water, too. I just like it. Yes, I know it's, hey, 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 you talking about yeah, water? Yeah, I've doing that, that the lemon man. water. Yes, sir. Uh, lemon water. Lemon water. It turns the water. It turns, it into, it turns like natural water into the alkaline water. If you don't have the alkaline water, water. Ball, can't be on this motherfucker. Uh-huh. Yeah, that vitamin C, all that. You gotta, you gotta just build yeah. that body up. You know. Yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna start teaching people self discipline. Hopefully, you gonna have a little more self discipline. If you if you've been able to self quarantine and all of that, it's like you mm-hmm. know you ain't getting out of prison. But at the end of the day, you. You're getting a little more freedom, but most people hopefully are using it a little more wisely, not to say to be germaphobes and then, but to make sure that they keep the, their bodies up and, and, and they keep self-reflecting and they, they keep focused. You know, hopefully all the stuff that they either learn how to do or, or do better than they've been doing. Because, you know, right now nobody really expects shit of anybody. They, they don't, I mean, you know, they expect them to be at home and doing their part as a citizen to sit the hell down and don't get everybody sick. Other than that, if you do yeah. something else, yeah, you know, it it, it takes it relieves the pressure because uh, you know this this world uh, in di- different ways for everybody, but you know yeah. geographically a lot different for us. You know, we we the pressure is real on a day to day basis. So right now, as long as your situation is good enough to where you can sit down and have the ability to self reflect and not be worried about paying your bills and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Then. At that at that point, it, it can help, and and hopefully people will take it wrong time and and you know relieve a little pressure by by focusing now and maybe mapping out a plan on what they want to do, even if they baby steps have a, have a future, a long future goal, and what little baby steps they could do to you know get get to that goal, some something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day, right. don't just waste the time. No, exactly. But don't push yourself to do every fucking thing because you at home and you got to do everything. At one day, it's just nah, this is that you're this bring progress up. time. This is build and progress time, man. Just build yep. yourself up, get the mind right. You know, as soon as the gates gates uh, open, you got a game plan to do. You know, you yeah. ain't really sitting around wasting time. You know, you read and build the brain and all that. You know, it's yeah. a good mm-hmm. time. It's, it's good time as long as you're using it the right way. I know. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of people that I'm not going to be able to recognize after this year. Because there's going to be some fat motherfuckers walking around. <laughs> 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 There's going to be some people getting in shape. Hey, girl, yeah, I thought you were getting in shape. Some people. Because some people eat their ass off, not giving them a lot of whiskey. I don't know. They're probably lying. Because I've been talking on the phone. They were lying to me, I think. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, dog, three, two, three, you on, champ? Three, two, three. What's up, man? Like, Lyrical Renegade, Lamar Pierce, how's it going? What's going what's on? Good? What's good, brother? Little bit dumb. Sound like a villain, man. I just want to say the congratulations from the off, off the cuff for 300 episodes, man. What the fuck? Ah, man. Look, man. I'm going to get myself a stand on page of that. So this is 300 episodes. <laughs> Yes, sir. I had to give myself a standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> and the ability to do stuff like this. Man. Right this here. Yeah. Right. Power with social media right there. That's the one thing, you know, I, I give it a, give advantage to in these times. We ain't see it coming, but yeah, you know, we, we ain't got to uh, reach out and touch each other physically to reach out and touch each other. That's, that's... Uh, yeah. And podcasts like this and like yours and like, you know, Everything that just keeps people, even a phone call away or through Skype or whatever, just communicating and be able to talk back and forth and project their ideas and their conversations with everybody. You see a lot of people doing the Instagram live and they talking on the phone. That's cool because people get to see other celebrities, people they look up to. They get to see them in a in a a a, a relatable type of situation because we're all going through the same shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Comforting. So people yeah, like y'all, yeah. you know, E, Young Bleed, everybody that got a podcast or is involved with something that, you know, that uses their celebrityism and, and, and is able to connect more than just themselves to a product that they're trying to push. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uniting people's personalities. That's always a beautiful thing. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
And not to mention, you guys ain't got to worry about, you ain't going to see me doing dance-a-thons like Diddy. I'm going to keep it gritty. <laughs> Come to Duff Road, man. Come to Duff Road, man. Dance-a-thons. Road, man. Dance-a-thons. All in the ground, dancing. All in the video. Man. Look at here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, hey man. Let me tell you something. Yeah. He, don't don't think I did just hear that uh, Young Blee remembers I'm a female. You know, ain't nobody. There's only like two, three people that ever said, that ever recognized I was a female on this show. And at the end of the day, I just heard it. You know, I'm a female. I'm just saying. Yeah, your voice is different than all else on here. You know, real niggas recognize, you know. <laughs> <laughs> real niggas recognize, yeah. You, you know, I'm a damn fool, and I'm always pointed out because it happens so rarely. So at the end of the day, that's the one thing I always do. Because it don't matter if I say Miss Chinchilla, Chinchilla, I sound like a nigga, and I know that. And at the end of the day, I don't take offense to it, but when somebody hey, recognizes me talking like I'm hey, speaking, hey, and they recognize hey, me the hey, on this hey, show, hey, yeah. Hey, I speak on it. Be, you know, go back to normal fire, conversation, though. Look, I say this for everybody, every male that's on the phone. We got homegirls and sisters and cousins and aunties just like you, so we used to that. <laughs> uh, already. Yeah. We used to that. There was another female on the phone. I don't know if she dropped off of the call, but she was talking about not, not doing some amazing not, not, shit. Not, 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 not. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. what I like to do. 60 freestyles, <laughs> 60 days. 60 days, Man. 60 freestyles. That's, that's some serious work right there. Yo. I'm telling you, to stay motivated, nigga, huh. I can't even take no damn birth control for 60 days in a row. You talking about doing some shit? Oh, this, nah, that's that's a lot of work, 60 days in a row. I'm just yeah. saying. That dedication, man, that's, that's much that's respect that to that, man. Word. Gee, absolutely. What you try to do, mm-hmm. 60 raps in 60 days? She did yeah, 60 shorty, days. Shorty, shorty, 60 days. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you her name, uh, Bonnie Dollar. What's that? Yeah, she, 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 she said freestyle. I can't write 60 songs in 60 days. I mean, she so said 60 freestyle. And it was, in, it, was, it was in commemoration of Nipsey Hussle. It was right after he died. She got inspired and she did the 60. Uh, oh, yeah, free, well, 60 she yeah, said she dropped yeah, 60 makes, new freestyles <laughs> each day. I mean, one a day. I and, and, and then she took, huh, man, and then she took sixteen of them and turned it into an album. So that that's that's some work and dedication. I salute yes. her. God damn it, that's right. Much respect. Uh, yeah, yeah. No doubt. And man, I just want to say, okay. man, I appreciate y'all jo- joining us, man. I mean, I was thinking, oh, man, I was panic you. mode. I was thinking, like, God dang, I might, I, I don't want to rap this or something. Like, you know what? We gonna. Scrap the old thing and redo it. Cause I'm not going out like no sucker. We ain't going out like nah. 300 like that. <laughs> man, uh, no, no. Christ, Christ with 300. Man, man. Nah, we, we like we like some nights at the round table right now. You know, man, On that's the best. <laughs> man. They run out. beautiful. Yeah, I love it, man. Double blessing, man. I was surprised. I didn't know what was going on, so everybody that popped up, oh, man. You know, I'm still a fan <laughs> of the music, man, and everybody, you know, my bro. So, yeah, it's a family affair, man. I did that. You know that? Already, already. That's hey, how we do it on Off the Cup. Yeah, yeah that's right, definitely. man. Believe we would have had, had, right had more. We had more on the line, but then the whole situation happened, so I had to redo everything, but... I might have to do a sequel to 300. That's how deep it was. Man, I would. I would. Part two, uh, part three. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. I might have to do yeah. a sequel. Because I don't know where you located. I'm it's up here in Austin, too, man. Louisville. You. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I'm down yeah, there, man. Yeah, man. I refused to fly the plane back on to the bullshit stop. That's why I hit Hike Man Red. I came up here on. Uh, about a month ago, man, I had a show in Cincinnati and a show in Louisville the week after, so it didn't make no chance to come back all the way south. So, I, you know, I know people everywhere. So I got my people to come up with me from Cincinnati will come down and bring me to Louisville. But when I flew to Cincinnati, yeah. when I told you, man, before all this shit started taking place, they kept us on the wrong way for about 45 minutes. They wouldn't let me piss on the plane. None of that oh, shit, oh. man. We, 
Yeah, to the baggage mm-hmm. claim, man, I went to the airport for two and a half hours for my bags, man. So I was already saying, I don't like fucking with these airports. So once that virus hit, I'm definitely not going to go in there for four, eight hours just to catch no plane, man, and taking a chance of catching that shit at the same time. So I'm going to find my own, you know, a different way back home. You know, them niggas ride me on the Greyhound in Dallas, so I ain't going to ride the Greyhound on there again. <laughs> so... Right. Yeah, shit been going down, man. Last year, this year, man. I went to 15 funerals and stopped there. Shit's still happening back at the house. So Louisiana crazy. Like I said, I was on my way to H-Town to get in that movie shit. You know what I mean? So I had a couple of shows this month. All that shit shut down based on that. So I'm just staying posted, man. Staying out the way of that shit did clear. Yeah, yeah. Everybody got that same thing. Yeah. the bridge from Cincinnati, though, right? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, about an hour and a half, man. About an hour and a half. Yeah, I've been yeah. out there before. It's, it's, what you gonna put? Okay. Man? What you gonna? You mm-hmm. know, you gonna, it's gonna go like right up in here, right? You got something to put like right up in here, like you got some kind of. Man, nobody trying to. I don't think nobody really trying to risk it. Okay, Even though they got exactly. flights going for like three hundred, they got flights uh-huh. all over the world going for three hundred. I don't know who's trying uh-huh. to risk it. Man, I mean, so like, hey. You know, but the thing, most dangerous thing about it, but the most See, dangerous but, thing is, you got people that got it and don't even know they have it. Like exactly. You got people know they got it, bro. It. Yeah. That's, exactly. All them other countries, man, for minutes right there. Mm-hmm. All them other countries testing everybody as soon as they get in the airports, as soon as they doing all, they got tests. They tested, but we ain't That's testing why shit. These niggas. They That's why I didn't go back to the airport. They said if they catch your ass with a slight sniffle or a cough, they quarantine your ass. I refuse to go to the airport. Hey. 14 days for no goddamn reason. Man. Man. Yeah. Man, you won't get home. All the trains, all the trains be packed in New York. They still getting on the train packed like that, like looking like sardines in there. You know? Okay, so what's the, so what's the separation thing? Is it six feet separation? How you do that on the train, train or any bus, anything, mega bus? Hey, you know what? Anytime. I saw this morning. This morning, my girl, and her brother is coming to get like she had a family member. He had a family member pass away, but he was coming from mm-hmm. like cross country. But he was I don't, know, I don't know if he was on Greyhound or a different bus, but he was filming the whole trip and everything. And he was filming the trip. And in the middle of the trip, he had to bust through himself with a couple of people. But in the middle of the trip, some dude lit two people on fire on the bus. Whoa! He lit a, somebody lit two people on fire and they jumped off the bus and was rolling in the grass. He was videotaping it and shit. <laughs> Putting them out. No. Oh, man. So I don't know about the that bus, man. Crazy. It's crazy if you watch here, but. Yeah, that's crazy. That's shit, people that's losing their mind out here, man. Said, but, Everybody just need to stay their ass at home unless they gotta go somewhere. And that bullshit right there, you gotta keep your eyes open. It's a little bit, it's a little bit tough. And niggas got it. goals and shit like that. You know what I mean? Got goals to me. Got rent to pay. You know what I mean? <laughs> they try, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know how mm. it is in Houston or or the West Coast, but you know when you go food shopping over here, you gotta stand in the line. And you gotta be six feet apart. They only let yeah. like ten people in at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Cali. I didn't oh, like that. Really good. Yeah, Cali is is bad. It's a great. And bad. it's mandatory, yeah. mandatory mask and gloves. You can't walk. They won't let you in the store if you if you ain't got a mask and gloves on. <laughs> yeah. See, that's that's, yeah. that's good. Play, as long it as you got some film, availability to the mask and gloves, that's that's the problem. We I do y'all have like, is it available to y'all to go buy or at at least a cheap rate uh, or is it expensive or do they give it out over in New York well, or the, Cali? The, 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 you know, they they really got you know like random people uh, just ma- just making the mask. Like you can make the mask yeah. out of anything. You can wear the bandana and put some paper towels in between the bandana yeah. and just wrap around your face. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but they but they won't let you in the store unless you have that. They ain't letting you. Let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all something. The whole mm-hmm. thing about the mask is, I mean, it, it's to protect you from the germs. But the thing is, you still you gotta breathe so the air could get through that motherfucker. And if it's in the air, gee, how is traveling that fast? I mean, one of us don't know all the thousands of people across the country that have been affected by this shit. Who is passing this yeah. shit on? 
you know, so I, I believe it's airborne, maybe these chemtrails. That's how I'll be yeah, thinking. Yeah. You know, if it's yeah. with foul yeah, on and like some people too, just huh? Yeah, some people yeah, just listen. Hey, hey, we'll take yeah. the triggers. I got the question. I got to ask. Let's See, say, let's say, and it's a problem yeah. if you start messing with the mask yeah. and, and touching it, which often you got to adjust that shit. And, and mm-hmm. when you start touching it, even if you have gloves on, whatever you touch in the gloves, you touch that. Or yeah. if you take the gloves off wrong and you touch on your hand with any part of the gloves that's been touching shit, that's you know, it's, it's a way you got to do some shit, too. So yeah, cause you yeah. can fuck around and give yourself the shit or any virus just because you're not properly using the damn mask. Good question. So what you do every time you touch something, you just take off that glove, put on another glove, and take off a... You know, it's impossible. Yeah, Yeah. a door. And then for the people that, I don't know if y'all saw this, but I saw some shit on the ground or something where this lady spit in the elevator on the knives and shit. One man spit on the head. Yeah, I saw that. Fuck yeah. All that baby with it. Y'all using that, y'all using that sanitary lotion, right? Man, make yeah. sure y'all doing y'all steering wheel in y'all car too, man. That's the one thing people be forgetting about. Just every time I get in my car, I put that, I do that, and I make sure I do my steering wheel. Make sure y'all, man. Yeah. Hey, y'all know how to make the home sanitizer. You know how to make your own sanitizer, right? Everybody know that. Alcohol and with Clorox or something. Or what was it? Alcohol and something. Uh, shit, I said it too hey, quick. I'm, I'm, hey, say, say, D, you can't even find alcohol out here in our stores right now. It's rubbing hey, alcohol. Hey, look, and that's that's oh, across the country. Oh, oh, oh. My mama was telling me that in um, Louisiana. All the stores. This shit, man, this shit look like night of the living. This shit, man. You know what I mean? Hey, 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 no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, no. Hey, Lysol, white, hey, nothing. Hey, tattoo shop. Like, if you're going to go in a tattoo shop, that's how you got to treat the world huh. right now. You know? Yo. You got to be out there like like you in a tattoo shop, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah you know, right. Mm-hmm. Look, and they, 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 y'all watch some goddamn gas pump. You hear me? Everybody got to get ca- gas. They say a lot of that shit passing through a gas pump. So nobody thinks that when you ground them gas pumps, too. That what? Yeah, that's true. You both got your gloves on. But you know, yeah, you know but, there's one thing, but there's one thing I'm really refreshed to hear with all of us talking about this is nobody is saying this thing doesn't exist because you got a lot of people yeah. out there trying to say <laughs> this thing does not exist. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a hoax. Oh, and I'm my, like, wait a minute. I lost my aunt to this. I lost one of my aunts to this. So, you know, I know this I'm is real, you it. know. Yes, I hear and, um, it. Our condolences. Yeah, but. It, it really hit I people that have uh, already had complications. Like, if you yeah, had complications but, already, it just made yeah. the complications worse. And if you went well, ahead look, and let me say let me say this. I just lost a female cousin, and I'm about, I'll be 46 years old this year. She was about 45, my, my same age. Just bought up with, mm-hmm. within a month. She had flu. And see, this is the thing about the power of the media. The coronavirus has been here 102 years. They say it's on the back of Lysol cans and everything else. Yeah. But it's with yeah, the media no, put in your face to create this panic. You see what I'm saying? It's the right. panic they're creating. But really, you got the majority of the deaths in the flu. She had the flu, and that shit created a hole in her lung and all that kind of shit. She didn't treat herself right. It just took her out of here, you know what I mean, 45 years old. But everybody forget about the flu, which is no cure for the common flu. And this virus just all of a sudden, I just left Chicago. I was in Chicago from November 29th to 30th to January or something. I put the age time when I come down that psych and I didn't get to see you. Um... I stayed up there a month and a half in the snow and everything. I ain't catch a common cold, none of that shit. I got sick when I got all the way back to Louisiana, caught the flu about four days, shook that shit off and come up here doing these other shows. And this shit just popped up within, what, the last month or two? You yeah. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, so, I mean, okay, let me cool. say one thing to that. Just, and, and first of all, let me say I'm sorry to hear about your cousin. For sure. Like, um, appreciate it. The flu isn't anything to play about. They definitely have a lot of people dying from the flu. The difference mm-hmm. is we, there, there is a treatment for the flu. It doesn't work for everybody. Like if you have the underlying conditions, like my mom has COPD, my dad has cancer. So I'm very careful because when I go around them, I don't want me to be giving them something I don't know I have and hurt them. Yeah. But at the end of right. the day, coronavirus, this, coronavirus is, is, is a, a big umbrella word for a whole bunch of like the common cold, and, and they had the SARS, the MERS, 
this is a SARS kind of virus because it goes straight exactly. to it's your respiratory. SARS She's absolutely right. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, SARS it's, it's SARS too. So at the end of the day, the reason that this is so dangerous and more dangerous than the flu is number one, the rate at which it can be transferred to somebody else is, uh, is, is higher than the flu. And the mortality rate of people that are dying is said to be more than the flu. But now understand this. We don't have all the testing. We, we've had faulty testing, false positives. They've already said that the people that have already died most likely from COVID, they're not counting them as deaths or even numbers that had it because they were never tested. It doesn't matter what it says in the autopsy. So when you have the government playing with these numbers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it, it's hard to tell, but even with the tests that they're doing, it has the mortality rate, a higher mortality rate, and it has a higher transmission rate. So when you have right. that coupled with the fact that this is a new strand, see, the flu mutates every time, and, and that's why they come up with different vaccines all the time, but because they have a base vaccine, they can usually quickly get a vaccine and just give it out. But at the end yeah. of the day, this COVID, we don't have a baseline for anything. There, there's a new shit that they're trying to figure out what's going on. So we don't have any kind of treatment. We don't have a vaccine. The vaccine is 18 months out at best. And the yeah. problem is you have a, a president that's telling people to use a, a drug that could possibly help some people, but it could possibly kill a lot of other people. So he's he's got people using certain shit that – you know, without medical recommendation behind it. And and even away from all of that, nobody knows. There's no surefire cure. They're, they're not, and there's no vaccine. So with that being the case and the fact that you have everybody not staying put and people still going to beaches and, and gathering around and none of these people are being tested, you know, mm-hmm. it's, all of that is making it even worse than the than the flu. So because it's right. out of control. and Huh? I agree with you 100%. My whole case in point is this. Like I say, that's all cool and dandy. But, well, we wasn't talking COVID 100, you know, 102 years ago if, if that virus always existed. It's like the plague and everything else. Where that shit went? Anthrax came for a minute, then it disappeared. So it's like a modern-day anthrax. I believe that exists. Yeah. It's not a myth. You know what I mean? But... Where all these, you know what I mean? If it's been here that long, why we hadn't, or why we still exist as a race? If it's killing this many people within months, imagine 102 but years. This is, this is a yep. different strand, though. This hasn't existed for 102 years. This specific virus has not. A, a okay, so look, see what you're saying right there? That's what I'm asking you. What new have they added to it to make it more potent? You see what I'm saying? You're talking about the now, virus? The problem now, is the virus saying, is. Well, and nobody made is, the virus. If they did make it, I mean, they did that in the lab, and they ain't no telling what they so. know. I believe so. Just like AIDS was created in a factory. If you go back to Bible times and all that, you can look at the regular natural diseases that were just in the air. The average man catch a common cold once or twice a year, man, a winter or, or, or summertime. Now, anything new ain't nothing new under the sun unless it's created in these fucking factories. And that's what I'm saying. That shit was not always here. It just happened within two months. But but they also have what well, that's true. My life, but, <laughs> I ain't never saw her in this shit. Where this shit come from? Just all of a sudden, if it ain't been growing out the ground or ain't been in the air. Now, what fucked up the atmosphere is the question. And let me ask you this: What about the doctor that they talked about in China that created this shit yeah. that they didn't murder? Yeah, and he said it right that nigga. He created it. Well, that nigga he created it. Hey. They were mad that he was telling people that it existed. They didn't want nobody to know that the shit existed. They were trying okay. to do, they were trying to pull a Trump, and they were like, "Nigga, shut the fuck up." And he was like, "Fuck what y'all heard." So at the end of the day, they shit, they did away with his ass. But Yo. all of that shit. And, but honestly, just like you said, I, I blame, and and everybody may not. But I believe just like China tried to hide the shit, Trump tried to hide the shit, and, and Trump's trying to profit off the shit, it didn't it's have a to be so fucking bad. It didn't it, have to be It's just like bad. Frank Lucas um, bringing the dope over here when there's war, it's opportunity. See, there's a chemical yeah, war. Yeah. It's not a nuclear war. It ain't necessarily yeah, physical yeah. right now. But that's yeah, the basis yeah. of any war. Yeah, it's a chemical war. Because you got yeah. casualties. You're killing people at, a, at an alarming rate. To no avail and to what the fuck? Where the fuck? What's really going on and who unleashed this beast? Because it ain't always uh-huh. been. 
And and that's why we didn't hear so much about Ebola or the bird flu. They didn't lock the whole world down for neither one of those because we had competent leaders, at least for our nation, that was able to to combat that. All of this shit Trump blaming on Obama. I, he, he's deflecting, but either I'm, I'm glad I'm not hearing anybody say that the 5G towers caused it because that's a whole another conversation that I've been having with people that, that they work, I, they I, working they, on that. But next, I just started hearing that within the last week or so. But just what yeah, you just crazy. said, the Ebola, where Ebola gone at? If it was such a what anthrax, where where everything else that that came and went, the cold well, still here. But they, they, they're, they're, they're getting treatment for it. They develop the treatments, and then they develop a vaccine later on, and then they can start giving it to people in the regions where they're still seeing the trends, and they have treatments for anybody else. And when they start seeing trends in other regions, they're going to start vaccinating those people. But at the end of the okay, day, yeah, it, it can be done if you have competent leadership. When you got a dumbass sitting here talking about, no, nah, we're going to wait till my people that don't know shit that they gonna get a patent and they gonna do some research. Kushner, his his son in law went on Facebook. Well, he asked somebody close to him for uh, some advice because he was a doctor or whatever. That nigga went on yeah. Facebook into a group and said, "Hey, mm-hmm. we've been uh, called on to to help Jared Kushner find you know some kind of research on on the coronavirus or whatever." I'm really paraphrasing, but at the end of the day, nigga, how how dumb do you think like? And this is to a, a public group. It's not like a closed group of registered anything. This nigga is just putting out. That's like matters of national security, I would think. They didn't want to even yeah. tell us the motherfucker existed, but y'all want to get help from doctors. Y'all don't even know a fucking doctor and not listen to the recommendations from your own government agency. It, it's all ridiculous. But the, the 5G shit that I'm hearing, I, I heard the original the dude say it on TV, what he said, and it sounded stupid then. Because yeah. there's no way that a, a virus can be transmitted if over, I, like, a phone or something or a computer. And if I can come, come in on it, this is where hey, yo, I Hey, yo, check this out. I'm about, I'm about to, I'm about to yep. be out shortly, yo, because I got to take care of some yeah. things. But I want to salute all y'all that tuned in for this episode. Yeah, definitely. Doing special yeah. things, a special moment, seeing, hearing all yeah. y'all brothers and sisters dialoguing. Yes, it was a beautiful thing to really? tuned in, man. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing for the next yeah, year. And I might, and I might for uh, here, Monday, I might do this. I might do a part two to the 300 since, you know, we had people already on board wanting to come on, but they couldn't come on. So if Absolutely. I decide to do that, I'm going to let everybody know tomorrow. Okay, good deal. Yeah. Stay safe in there. Not out there in there. Stay safe. All right. Everybody's well, safe, man. Be Look, safe out there. Okay. Success and God. All y'all, man. Much, much love to y'all. y'all. Hey, y'all. Man, chill on that 5G safe. theory. You know, I'm going to kick it about why that 5G theory isn't true either, because we need to, then this time, we need to put out facts instead of fiction. And a Thank lot of people are using this to run with a lot of right. stuff. But I will yeah. say this. I will make this right quick, because I'll get into more depth on the next show. 5G, mm-hmm. you have a difference between radio broadcast waves and radiation waves. When you're dealing with the sun, Thanks. x-ray, like gamma rays are like x-rays. You have radiation waves like sun and UV light. Now, those are deadly. Those cause cancer in their worst, uh, in their worst mutation. Radio yeah. waves are transmitters. Those are benign in terms of it can't. It does not have a biological effect in terms of like they, the, the the conspiracy theorists like to say it weakens the immune. It doesn't do any of that. This is something yeah. people don't know where it came from, how it happened. They need something to blame. That's the short version. I got the longer version for the next show, but that's the short. And to version. add on to that, real quick, real quick, people that are saying that that actual transmission can transmit the virus because that that whole argument has mutated. Nigga, you mm-hmm. couldn't get a fucking virus or a cold from the phone before when you were using the phone. So, nigga, you exactly. can't get the motherfucking coronavirus by calling me on a goddamn phone. I don't want to hear that shit no more. The shit that they're talking about is radiation poisoning, and you ain't got radiation poisoning yet using a fucking phone. I'm just saying. Quit being retarded, yeah, people, and black folks can't Hello. get it if y'all ain't seen it. I don't want to hear that shit no more, neither. Yeah, Look, radiation yeah, for some of usually is cancer. Cancer is usually comes with radiation poison. That's yes. cancer well, you more, uh, more than anything. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, stand yeah, for yeah. something or fall for anything. You hear me? Already. Don't believe yeah, already. everything you see. That was saying weed, man. Yeah. Uh, already. 
Already. Hey, man, hey, I'm going to sign off, man. Hey, I'm going to sign off, man. Yeah, me too. I'm about to sign out myself. Well, yeah, so the next time to go, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Love y'all. Stay safe. Everybody stay safe. Hey, I love, I love everybody, everybody. And, too, and I appreciate everybody. I feel like we're talking everybody. on the phone. We've got his listeners out there. Peace to the listeners out there, too, you know. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate everybody. All right, so. Yeah, hey, Eric, hit me up, bro. Everybody stay safe. All right, bless everybody. Stay safe. Much love, everybody. Respect. Hey, man. All right, y'all. Yes, indeed. All right. And one. We out. Yeah. Right. Peace out, mot